Hey guys, welcome back to Entrepreneur Pod. Today we'll talk about eight musicians who are rich. Let's head into it. Number eight, Bono. Net worth $700 million. Bono is a strange one. The lead singer of U2, Bono is straight killing it by marketing himself as the guy who wears those glasses whilst caring about eco and social activist issues. I can make jokes all day long, but the fact is Bono is a boss. Beyond his work as a singer, songwriter, and musician, he's also a venture capitalist, philanthropist, and general businessman. He's such a huge figure for the Irish people and unapologetically outspoken that he's been the target of terrorist threats and actions. Like many on this list, Bono has been awarded knighthood. How many dragons have you killed? Here's to be addressed as Paul David Hewson, KBEOL. Trivia fact, for being a huge philanthropist and social activist, it was a surprise when his name appeared in the Paradise Papers, which provided proof and exposed globally many wealthy people people engaging in tax evasion. Number seven, Dr. Dre. Net worth $800 million. There's a lot of crap out there trying to undermine the DRE, but the fact remains he's impacted rap, music, and the culture of the United States. Very few people can say that. From being a member of NWA, Death Row Records, and operating his own label, he also launched several protégés, including Snoop Dogg, Exhibit, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, and 50 Cent. Dr. Dre has has only released two albums under his own name. Otherwise, he's a guest star, prolific beat producer, and compilation creator. Few musicians have the power to create other superstars, and he might be the most powerful. Like many, Dre has even had some acting roles, though at the end of the day, it didn't seem to be among his strong suits. Trivia fact, Dr. Dre sold his world's top headphones company Beats by Dre to Apple in 2014, launching him way up this list. The marketing and products are impeccable, which made it an easy $3 billion decision for Apple. Number six, Celine Dion. Net worth $800 million. There's no wonder that Miss Dion is on the top 10 list. She's the top wealthiest music artist in Canada of all time after selling 200 million records. After her smash hit on the Titanic soundtrack, she took advantage, launched the popularity of auto-tune, for better or worse, and rode that wave straight to the top 10 list. She has released albums in French in English, won countless contests and awards, and has the record for the highest concert residency of all time, where in Las Vegas, she can command $500,000 per show. Take that info and do this math. She's performed her 1,000th show in Las Vegas in 2016. Trivia fact, Celine is the youngest of 14. Yes, you heard that right, 14 siblings. She's also been honored Canadian and French titles for her civilian merits and contributions. She is to be addressed as Celine Celine Dion, C-C-O-Q-C-H-L-D. Number five, Sean Puffy Combs. Net worth $820 million. P. Diddy, AKA Puff Daddy, Puffy, Diddy, Sean Combs, Sean John, etc. I'm sure there's more. This kind of marketing keeps you relevant, as silly as it is. We all could learn from this master, which has earned him the sixth spot on this list. He went beyond his own recordings to operating his own label, Bad Boy Entertainment. This label launched the careers of guys like the Notorious B.I.G. and Mace. Other successes include his Sean John clothing line, perfume line, and hit television show, Making the Band on MTV. Trivia fact. Like many of the richest people in the world, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Kanye West, etc., Puff Daddy is also a college dropout, leaving a business major program. Ironically, Forbes listed Diddy as a top 40 entrepreneur under the age of 40 in 2002. Number four, Herb Alpert. Net worth $880 million. Hubert Alpert and the Tijuana Brass Band have released five number one albums and 28 total albums on the Billboard charts. His other notable awards are nine Grammys, 14 certified platinum albums, and 15 more gold albums. His total sales are over 72 million worldwide. Alpert is the A in A&M Records, which undoubtedly contributes to his unbelievable riches. He sold it in 1987 for a reported $500 million along alongside his partner, Jerry Moss. They later sued for a breach of contract, receiving an additional 200 million. His other ventures have included professional sculpting and a line of perfume, which he likens to music with its high notes and low notes.
songs. Trivia fact, Herb Alpert is the only musician to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 as both a vocalist in 1968 and an instrumentalist for trumpet in 1979. Number three, Jay-Z, net worth $1 billion. He's not a businessman, he's a business man. This is what happens after you score 19 Grammys, sell over 100 million records, and launch a successful clothing company, Rockaware, and a recording label, Rockefeller Records. After marrying Beyonce, their combined wealth is over 1 billion. It still wasn't enough to outbid Notch, the creator of Minecraft, for a house whom competed against. All it's going to take is a few more retirements and comebacks, and he should climb a few notches on the list. Maybe one extra comeback cycle to make up for his goof with title and Aspero. Of all his shenanigans, Jay-Z admits to having shot his own brother at the age of 12 for stealing some of his jewelry. I don't know if that adds up to street credibility or the stupidity of being a kid. Trivia fact, Jay-Z was once the president of Def Jam Recordings. He's also a licensed sports agent working with his company Rock Nation Sports. Number two, Paul McCartney. Net worth $1.2 billion. There's no way you wouldn't find a member of the Beatles on this list, especially Paul McCartney. He and John Lennon basically shared writing credits for their entire run, guaranteeing both of them continued riches forever. Tag on Paul's killer solo career, the band Wings, and collaborations with Michael Jackson, and most recently Kanye West, and you've got a guy who's been a relevant pop icon since the early 60s. The multi-instrumentalist has written or co-written 32 songs to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Paul's song Yesterday is the most covered song of all time, having been remade by over 2,200 artists and bands. Talk about some royalties. He's also been knighted and honored every which way possible, musically or otherwise. It's reported that he holds over 25,000 copyrights. Trivia fact, the Guinness Book of World Records recognizes Paul McCartney twice as the most honored composer and performer in music, as well as the most successful songwriter ever. Number one, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Net worth $1.28 billion. You are now looking at the king. You may not know his name, but you know his music. Broadway is almost synonymous with Webber, with him having penned the music of 20 of their greatest hits. The Phantom of the Opera, Jesus Christ Superstar, Cats, Evita, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, School of Rock, and the list goes on and on. The dude's cleaning up. These shows are still happening nightly all across the world. Some have been running for over a decade straight, providing him profit from everything related to his products, including soundtracks, merchandise, film adaptations, and ticket sales. He even collects royalties from two songs he wrote for none other than Elvis Presley, the true king. Now this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.